Alright everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to Sparky Murky. I, I don't know, it's a neat horror game, it looked really interesting. It looks like it has Discord integration as well, and I don't know completely why right now, but we're gonna get into it. Explore an abandoned children's recreational camp and uncover the dark secrets covered up by its founders. Explore, find clues, and apply specific commands in the Discord channel to find out what truly happened, but be careful. Sparky has been activated, and the monster inside of it never sleeps. I'm not sure if I'd call it a mascot horror game. It's giving me partial feels, but at least it's not Garten of Ban Ban, but we'll find out. Let's get into it. I'm not sure about the whole Discord thing, though. I'll, uh, I'll... F oh, we'll go, like, we'll find out along the way, I guess. Especially if it means if there's any secrets around or not. Like, what is this? Ooh. I need to turn on power, maybe? Alright, I guess I'll, I'll put that on Discord, I guess? One second. Alright, so apparently I put in Amber and I got the message Access denied, sensitive data warning, administrator's login, permission required. And it shows me a statue of a bronze girl or something? Eh, we'll find out. Might be like some kind of uh, augmented reality or something. We'll see. Bunch of crap. I'm not sure if, if the statue would be. Hmm. I don't think it'd be in this area. Although this this looks like something to be platformed. Why is that? No, not falling. Not allowed to fall. Mm, why would they have this unless... I'm afraid of, like, falling through the map, though. Although... What is this, actually? Mm. Sparky! Alright. Nothing else? All right, well, I'll look this up, too. All right, so it says, Sparky is a friendly companion of all the children, a hero mascot of Amber's Park. Honestly, he doesn't look friendly to me. Um, I'll post, like, a picture uh, in the editing so you can see what I'm seeing image-wise. Um, you guys won't have to worry about what you're missing out in terms of the uh, what I'm seeing. It's like a weird, creepy little image, whatnot thing. But, uh... Am I just supposed to, uh... Just climb over this way? Eh, yeah, why not? Whatever. As long as you don't get stuck. So he doesn't like stun gun? Poopy looking gate, but okay. Wait, is there anything here? Did I jump over the fence for any reason? No, like, uh, like genuinely. Gonna have to, uh, try to get out of here, maybe? Uh -huh. Okay. If that's not where they want me to go, I'm going to, uh, I guess... Hmm. Follow... This way? Or wait, shit. I'm kind of lost, actually. I think I came from that way, so I'll go this way. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a bunch of, like, secret words that I just... won't find, just because I'm not... <laughs> Wait, did I just trip and fall on the... Did, 
Did I trip and fall over this? Or... Weird, though, right? Little, little scooters. Oh. Little scooter. The game clearly is recording what I see, even if I don't put it in Discord, though. Yeah, okay, what's scooter for? Scooter. Uh, scooter. Fast, safe, and energy efficient transporting device for Amber's Parks. Okay. Why is that in the game? Why is that even relative? Why, why do I have to plug it into Discord? It's... I don't know. It's a weird integration. Are they, are they paid to do that? I don't know. At least we found, I think, our way in. And this is the weird thing we have to apparently look out for. And I'm sure people are already getting the mascot vibes already. I mean, he is quite... I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be... I'm not going to be hard on it just because it's giving me the mascot vibes, but... Not your friend. But it's... I don't, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not gonna be harsh at the get-go. I know a lot of people will probably be like, mascot simulator, and then they'll just bring up the torches and pitchforks and everything. But I mean, uh, I'll give it a chance. I'm just a little pessimistic. It's just gonna chase and kill me. What's going on here? What, what, what is this? Like, what is this? In terms of like game development, like genuinely, th this might be a little nitpick, but this looks so crudely put together that you got these colliding, and then this, which is penetrating the road texture that has been shrunk to look like a line to wait in. But what is this? It's ugly, and now he's falling over. Gonna jump scare me? Hey, there's not even any food in these. Should I go back to the prior areas though? Like if they've activated the the weird gray square things. I know this door is definitely opened. Oh, wait. Little floaty hand. Or I'm probably going to have to actually turn them on and follow this, I guess. Hmm. We'll see. Might have to turn on more power or find a keycard, one of these square things. Oh, wait. There's also a cave. I didn't enter this one. Sure. Shoot it. Uh, Amber OS or QS? I'll presume OS for operating system. Shoot it. Well, whatever, I'll type in an Amber OS. Current version is version 4.5.1. Would you like to update? What do you mean, would I like to fucking update? Mm -hmm. I don't think it was asking, like, legitimately asking me a question, but... I'm wagering any money, though, over here. It was definitely something else. These stones look platformy-esque as all hell. Oh, man, I'm alright. This is where they want me to go, but... Boing. Uh, helper. Well, I found another one. And let's find out what it does. Helper. Helper says... Wait, what? Welcome to the Amber OS database for Vera version 4.5.1. I'm Suze, your personal assistant. Please input commands to... All it's saying is just, I'm your personal assistant, Susie. I'm not sure if it's... Jeez, but... 
I'm not sure if it's meant to mean anything, but... Oh, God. Eh, whatever. We got more codes, if it means anything. Here we go. I knew one of these would be open. It's like very Doom 3-esque. Like, someone's legitimately saying this is someone's... Someone's office. Lighting is activated. Uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five, five, five. Can I use this? Code. This probably be what I need. Actually, then hang on. Spark. Yeah, I guess Discord will be needed if I want one of these damn gun things. What the hell it means. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have one on the one key, the two key. Oh. A flag up? Is it single use? Alright. Not sure what they're for, but... It's... Is this, this is the boulder? So wait, th this door opened and it's just a hallway leading... to... the other side of what it would be normally? Uh, like, a, an, an, a second entrance instead it just leads to the boulder cliff side? The level design, I'm gonna be completely frank and honest to the developer, it's fucking hideous. It's absolutely hideous. Hmm. We'll see how it goes in terms of like animation, ambience, sound design, audio design, whatever. Because whenever I play a game, I'm basically like reviewing it on the fly and giving my critique. I guess that is kind of my jam. The ugly gate is now open. Yes. Um. The other door is sealed by a rock. Um. So. Uh. They're wanting me to shoot it, but this isn't open? I'm kind of confused, so, like, is this a useless place? I just... I have no idea. I'll just... I'll... I mean, this door is open. There has to be a reason for it. There has to be. Um... This is telling me shoot the dude. If I shoot him once, the door will open. I don't know. I'll look for him. Alright, let's hope that I'm meant to... Yes. I th what? Seriously. Alright, sure. We'll go with that. Children's hospital beds? In really fake grass that... What? I mean, that is what it looked like, said the Ember OS database. It does look like... Walkie talkie. Okay. Monster database. Okay. Um... Elevator not found. Okay, I guess that'd be near one. What? Auto hacking. I'll assume... What? Oh. Amber Spark! We'll look at that now. Alright, all it says is Amber's Park is Advanced Technological Recreation Camp for Children Built by Sparks, Inc. And it just, I don't know, shows an overhead image of the forest. Um. 
we're going to see if we can use the new hacking tool to uh, get into the building I couldn't get into. I'll see if it's one of the... Actually, wait. I'm going the wrong goddamn way. Alright, can we hack into this door? Is that an elevator? Alright, I'll just assume it's unrelated and we can enter that and it's just there because it's, I don't know, a power regulator or something. And all we need to do now is just go to the locked door, hack it open, and actually start this game. And hopefully it gets better from there. Outside environments, maybe not their forte. Okay. The crossing door. Hack! Damn, I'm I'm a hacking pro. Um <laughs> Should I not take metal through this as like a metal detector of sorts? <laughs> no, doesn't matter. Just a fake metal detector? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, what? F fragile? I don't know how that's fragile. What? What? Do I need power here too? No, monster. Sure. Uh, this is attention authorized personnel. Please note never use this term in official requests or correspondence. Looks like some kind of weird spider robot with a a QR reader on it? No idea. Uh, okay. With the power off, the door open, hopefully something's changed. If not that, I'm going to be kind of annoyed with the process of... I don't know, just the... how this is going. No. It, nothing's changed. Alright, fragile is indeed fragile. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yellow thing? Lighting is activated. Well, I don't need that anymore, I guess. Shoot it. Is this on the wrong side? Wait, what? He says shoot it, but it's like... It's like the wrong way? I don't know, whatever. But... But... Well... That's gonna be annoying, let me kill him. Like, it sounds... It sounds like he's close by, and yet not. I'm getting tired of seeing these fences. For your safety, make sure you see Sparky, and then shoot him. Gotcha. Hello. Did... You were eaten by Q mo QR Monster. Okay, never mind. I am getting Garten of Ban Ban vibes. The fuck happened there? Where am I? I'm wandering outside and a QR monster just defies physics, logic, and everything and just builds a labyrinth around me. And then it takes my gun away, which I'm now holding horizontally. I'm, I'm holding all of them horizontally. Alright, sure, fine, okay, let's, let's run, they want, d d Discord, they, they want me to go this way for Discord, let's do a freaking Discord, I guess, Susie, even though it'll get us killed, I'm sure the QR code will lead, why do you get eaten and you have it programmed where you're going in a polygonal monster's 
stomach or throat. Why Why is it even included? Does that add anything to the game? Does it make it creepier? Or are the developers just into vor or something? Why does a QR monster eat you? Of all things. I mean... <sighs> Susie. <sighs> Before my brain starts hurting, because I'm getting more and more Garden of Ban Ban vibes. Susie. Okay, that wasn't it. Shit. Susie. Okay. Susie. Greetings, Insider. I'm Susie. An advanced AI network... Neural network with text and voice coming soon. Input feed. I, I don't care. Is this Discord integration just seems a lot more like a gimmick. Like, an immense gimmick. And I wonder if there's other ways. I just don't want to get killed again. I don't care. Gun? Sure, I want gun. This isn't exactly hard, so I mean... Gun. That was... So, so it was hit him the whole time? Is that it? Congratulations, you caught the QR monster. I found 10 out of 17s. You can now use the secret command insight in our Discord server to get new quests. And part of this... You're hiding lore in Discord. It's just... It rubs me the wrong way. It, it's, it is just another garden of Bam Bam, man. So instead of just having in-game paper trails, which already is annoying enough because you always have that one employee who writes journals, rips them off, and leaves them, and no other person ever picks them up, takes them away. It's always just for you and the main character to read and do with as you will, especially when usually the notes can be like, be like I'm an employee and I'm actually a traitor, but I'm going to report everything I've learned and for whoever stumbles upon these notes, and you're the first person to gather them. And I just, uh, fine, what is insight? I didn't even get to like see this main character come out. It was just the QR monster. I mean, he was dancing, and then he fell on the ground, then he vanished. I, and it's not... I, I swear, to, if plushes get made of these things, I, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Insight. The secret code for... Wait, it says, attention, Nico enters the back room. What? I've granted you access to the secret quest room chat. Well, I'll try to see if I can, I guess, scan the QR monster and go from there. And then after that, I'm just kind of done. I'm... I don't want to seem like really... What's the word? Not pessimistic or just... I don't want to be a party pooper to developers, but... I, how is this just not another mascot horror like Garten of Ban Ban? Sure, it's not as it's not unoptimized. It's not unoptimized like Garten of Ban Ban. Uh, what is this? You can now use the secret man to get the quest and part of the lore. Let me let me look. All right. Well, I tried to scan the QR code monster, but it's not working. I'll just presume it doesn't work or something else. But otherwise. I can't put my head around enjoying the game. I'm sure there'll be a bunch... Like, it feels like it's deliberately setting itself up for its... In its current form, bare bone. I don't even know if this is a full game or a teaser, even though the store page says it is a 30-minute a game. Sparky has been activated and the monster inside of it never sleeps. So I'm guessing... Wait, is the monster the QR code is what's inside it? Let me look at its legs. Was it? All right, so here's the store page, for instance, and you can see this little GIF here. And, and oh, like it looks cool. The animation looks cool. We but we got nothing like this. Like from the store page is amazingly well put together, but the store page doesn't match the same quality as the game itself. Like, the GIF looks great. It almost implies or insinuates, at least to me as a, say, a customer or a gamer. I look at this GIF, I look at, like, everything else, and 
it is well put together. The problem is the level design is not as well put together as the game store page, if I had to put it out there. And this gif insinuates like nice, almost like cutscenes. Like you imagine, wow, this is part of the game, and you maybe bump into this creature for the first time, and then you suddenly you'll see this like something come out of his mouth, and oh my god, it's creepy, gross, or something. But I'm not even sure if that's true. I don't know if this happens later in the game, or maybe it's more hidden if you collect all the lore. I don't know, but what I do know is my first playthrough of the game doesn't leave me itching and excited for more, and I can already tell that it's doing the mascot horror thing, and it's doing the sort of hidden layers and layers of secrets that kids go fucking bonkers for, you know, Poppy Playtime lore, FNAF for the, uh, what, what was the Inky? What is the other thing? Ink? Bendy and the Ink Machine? There's always the hidden secret behind, like, lore behind the thing. Like, you know, you know FNAF, it's like, how did the kids die in FNAF? Where did the spirits go? Who's the killer? What's Purple Guy? What's this and that? All the kids love to go crazy for mysteries and shit like that. I, I, I'm just getting a feeling that this is the entire chase, this whole... Not, it's not even a fetch quest at the very least, but you know what I mean? It, like, it leads you on a goose chase on purpose, knowing kids are going to eat the shit out of this. But in terms of it being a game, like it being a standalone game, there's nothing here. You have Discord-integrated lore to scatter the lore outside of the game, so then the game itself, from my perspective as a person who doesn't want to chase after the hints and clues and shit, I want to play the game from start to finish. And how am I left with other than disappointment? Because it's just like... Eh, I mean, it's play free now. Average of 30 minutes. Explore the abandoned children's camp. I felt like I explored a really tiny, weird forest. And... You know, went to a little generator square building. Turn on the power. Went through a front gate screening area with a metal detector and then I, I wouldn't say that's a children's camp I'm going to assume if you play and find all the secrets you can explore more of the map but I just, I just don't know find clues and cover the mystery I, 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 don't, I don't care really collect gadgets and use them to progress escape from Sparky your journey doesn't end there. Join our Discord. Use your collected clues to interact with the dedicated Suze Commands channel and cover more mysteries. Some of them might give you a clue to your next thrilling adventure. The game could genuinely keep going. I'm going to check other people's videos as seen here just to see what is it... Like, is it worth pursuing or am I just going to give up here and just be like, eh, it's just, you know, it's... It just seems like a cheap... And, like I just I don't want to sound insulting again, but it's just it just seems like it's like one it's just a mascot another predatory game, not at least predatory like Garden of Ban Ban, with how they went through it. But this just seems like I can't say there's no heart and soul put into it, and I, I won't say that, but it still feels rushed, like rushing, like it's been rushed together. I don't know. It feels half baked. Alright, well, I, I looked at a few videos, it didn't seem to really go anywhere else, and me getting the... Uh, can I... Uh, wait... Finded... Finded Discord commands? Uh, even this interface looks really lazy. Well, out oh, no limit, no wonder. At least, at least my videos weren't lagging. Like I said, the game's at least not unoptimized. That, that's at least good. But anyways... It needs more substance. I don't know how much of the game I'm missing, but frankly, you need to first attract a customers like myself who are... Like, there's going to be a lot more harsh people out there. I'm being just, like, as genuine as I can that there needs to be more substance. If you want to lure people to be like, oh, well, I want to know what's in the lore. Big companies like when Destiny... De Destiny? Was it Destiny? Wait, Destiny? Am I thinking Destiny? 
yeah, Destiny. Not 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 a YouTuber content creator, Destiny. The game Destiny, which then Destiny 2 people like, or Destiny 1 expansions they like, but Destiny Launch. It got gr grilled for the same reason, but for AAA Studio, where it's just like, oh, you want to learn the story of the actual game outside of the Halo-like combat? Well, you're going to have to read the cards at the Bungie's website. Remember that? That's exactly what's happening here, but it's just using Discord. And then I have to go out of the game, put in commands to get lore on Discord rather than in-game. So it's just... Why they're using Discord integration... That's just a gimmick. I can't see it being anything other than a gimmick. Like, why can't you integrate that in the game itself somehow? Like, why isn't it we had the... Well, I mean, I don't have any more. The... The watch thing. The holographic watch thing we pulled up that did the hacking. Why couldn't it just... Whatever goes to Discord could go to that watch, and you just get that watch earlier. Why not? So then when you find the codes in the world, or the commands, you put the commands in your watch. They use Discord instead, out of all other decisions. Why? I, I don't know if they get paid by Discord staff, I don't. But it's just a complete gimmick, and I don't like that either. So, I, I don't know. It's... It... I don't know, this, this is basically, or else I could just run, run forever. It needs more substance, better level design. It needs more substance for the average player, not just bait for mystery hungry children that uh, love Bendy, love FNAF, love Poppy, love all oh, the hidden lore. Ooh. I don't give a fuck, you need to interest me first. And I'm not a 12 year old, so it's not interesting me. You need to actually give me a steak. It's all sizzle and no steak for me. You need the steak and then glaze it with sauce. And that sauce is the extra or lore or whatever. But this is just like... Eh, it's, just, it's not it's not gaming to me. This is not how games should be made. It, it's like a... It's de-evolution of gaming and I don't like it is my personal take. Hopefully it becomes a better game at launch. If the game's not fully launched yet, I don't... They, they don't call the game a demo. In, and they don't call it a demo. They don't call it a prologue. So it implies it's a full game. But it's done, and it says, thanks, find more of the commands. I don't know, but it's... It's got a band band, but with hidden clues, Discord integration, and uh, the possibility that maybe I can roam around the forest more. Like, here, I'll jump in the water. Do I die? I completely fall... Okay. I, we can swim. Um, but yeah, uh, th that's it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hard to say, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, make a flow scarver. Hit the notification down below for updates to my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.